Hi, this is Pat with Fireverse. In this video, I'm going to talk about upgrading a Provider 1 MDS from an R70 version up to R75. Um, this release with R75 is a little bit different, and if you've taken a look at the downloads, the ISO format is a DVD. So if you are going to try and burn this ISO image, you're going to have to burn that into a DVD. And what I'm going to do instead is show you a different way to do that. We're just going to mount that image and run the install, the uh, MDS setup, I should say, and then go through the actual upgrade process. All right, so first thing, let's take a look at what I have in my lab right now. So I'm running R70.30. And within my MDS, I have one CMA, and I've got one firewall. And this is what I run at home. This is my firewall that sits on the internet, and this is my my CMA that manages it. Right now, I'm just down to one CMA, but uh, in the past, I've had multiple CMAs for different types of scenarios. So this is what I want to actually upgrade, right? I want to get off this R70.30, get up into the new features within R75, specifically application control. A lot of cool stuff there. So with any upgrade that I do, um, if it's secure platform, I always like to run a snapshot first. I want to make sure that I have a good copy, um, something that I can fall back to just in case the upgrade fails for whatever reason. And the way to do that on secure platform is just type snapshot, then L to create a local image. It'll give you a suggested name as you can see here. You can change that if you want. And I'm not actually going to run through the snapshot, but normally you would run that. And what I like to do then is after that process completes, I like to take that TGZ and then move that off to another server. All right. So I've already done that. I've already created the snapshot. I've already moved it off. And what I did next was, of course, I downloaded the Provider 1 ISO, the DVD image. And you always want to do a checksum on that as well, do an MD5 checksum. And then to put that in the VAR partition. And this is something that's kind of important too. Uh, sometimes people make the mistake of not putting an upgrade into the VAR partition. But you always want to put it in the VAR because that's where you're going to have the most space available. You're not going to, you know, if you run out of space in the middle of an upgrade, it's just going to fail and you're going to have to move things around and start it all over. So always keep it in VAR. So what I did is I created a directory in VAR called R75. And that's where I dumped this ISO image. And as you can see here, it's actually kind of a big image. So the next thing I want to do, instead of burning a DVD for it, I just want to mount that locally. And that's pretty easy to do. We've got that feature built into Secure Platform. It's actually part of Linux. So I'm going to mount that ISO image. And let's now switch over to that image. It now thinks that I've got the DVD locally. And as you can see here, I can see all the directories. And so what I'm looking for for the Provider 1 upgrade is MDS Setup. And where you'll find that is under Linux. And then there's another directory in here called P1 Install. And you're not really doing a fresh install on this. You're doing an upgrade. So but you want to find this MDS Setup piece right here. All right. So let's take a look at what it looks like to run through the setup. So as part of the Provider 1 upgrade, it's going to stop all the processes. So this will mean that your CMAs will temporarily be stopped while it runs through the upgrade. That's pretty much to be expected. All right, it's stopping my customers. Customers that contain the CMAs, the virtual IPs, are being removed as it shows there. Uh, option two, an upgrade rate to R75. And in this case, it is going to run the pre upgrade verifier anyways, but then after that's done, right, it will prompt me to continue straight into the upgrade. So everything was verified, there are no problems here, so I'm going to proceed.
Okay, so once all the packages are added in, um, you'll see it'll take you through kind of a pseudo install process here. And you're pretty much just going to leave everything the same. Um, I mean, unless you have some changes to make, but in my case, I don't. I'm just doing a straight upgrade. So in this case, I'm going to choose option three. And I've got a whole bunch of uh, different licenses that are on here, evals. And it's going to prompt me to add more licenses. I don't need to do that right now. Um, do I want to make any changes to group permissions? Nope, I'm just leaving everything the same. So I'm just going to go through and anywhere I'm prompted for something, I'm just going to keep it the same. Do I want to copy the fingerprint? No. I'm keeping all my same admin accounts. Right, I let any IP connect to the MDS. I'm keeping that the same. All right, and that's it. So the uh, process is completed. If I go in and do an MDS stat, it's going to show that everything's down. And what you really want to do then after this is completed is you want to do a reboot. OK, so it's had a chance to reboot. I'm going to start a new session. Do an MDS stat to see if everything has started up yet. And not quite. All right, let's do another MDS stat on here. Okay, my CMA now is both is listed um, as being up as well as the MDS. So once the FWM process for the MDS is up, I can log in with the MDG and I should be able to take a look at the CMA as well. So let's do that right now. So I'm using the same certificate that I was using for my R70.30 version and the certificate is exactly the same. Don't have to worry about that at all. So I'm going to use that same cert to log into my R75 MDG. All right. So I now have an MDM multi domain manager at R75. And let's just go in and launch Smart Dashboard real quick. Just take a look at that as well. Now, one thing I should mention too is that my gateway is still at R70.30, and R75 is backwards compatible for managing older versions. So I can still manage my R70.30 gateway, and I think. On the near future here, I'll be upgrading the gateway as well because I want to be able to take full advantage of not only the management enhancements but the enforcement enhancements that have been included in R75 and in particular, like I mentioned before, the application control piece. So I'm going to launch Dashboard now into my CMA for the first time and we'll see that the Smart Dashboard looks slightly different as does the, uh, the MDG as well. has a few uh, extra things tucked in there. All right, so here is a dashboard. And right there is my application control tab. And there you go. So hopefully this video will give you some ideas and uh, you might be able to use it in your planning and your testing for your own provider one upgrade up to R75.